This is happening more and more. The rival RS1 2.0 has a lot to answer for when copying goes wrong. Hello and welcome to Fit to Box channel. I'm Simon, I'm a full-time boxing coach, former amateur boxer, and I run Fit to Box channel, which is bringing all the best boxing equipment to you so you can choose the best boxing equipment gloves head guards groin guards whatever it is that will suit you best so i'm highlighting the best and the worst and i'm pointing out the great stuff about boxing gear but also the stuff that's not so great today i've got a new brand to the channel and this is hawkeye fightwear and these gloves are the focus onyx gold and this company is from indonesia Okay, so at the start of the video, I did mention about how these are based on the RS1 2.0. I will come to that later. And the thing about them that they have copied from that glove that is wrong. So I'll come on to that. Okay, so the thing that uh, is unusual for these gloves is, as you can see, they've got that padded effect Velcro strap, which gives a sort of a, a more stylish look to the strap. The gloves, as you can see, are quite stylish actually you've got the hawkeye at the back there you've got at the front you've got focus you've got the 16 ounce large there you've also got flux on there which i'll come to and then obviously you've got that on the on the strap also so as i bring that round so you can see and these obviously are a velcro glove you so they come in the black and gold they come in a green and gold a blue and silver white and silver and red and black and on them i do think they've got nice positioning of the different badges this is what they call a micro hawk power leather that's synthetic leather okay and these are made in china and what i'm seeing is a lot of gloves are being made in china with this design the company is from Jakarta in Indonesia, but the gloves are made in China. And the price of them, 1,399,000 Indonesian rupees. Okay, now that equates to a lot less when it comes to pounds. 71 English pounds or 96 uh, US dollars. Let's have a closer look at these gloves. <laughs> Hawkeye Fightwear Focus Onyx Gold Black and Gold Gloves. Let's bring that one across as you can see. You've got that there, which is that padded diamond pattern on the wrist. It's got some padding there and some padding there, and I think that that is a good wrist. Okay, there is the Velcro, and I'll bring that across. And you can see that padded effect with the HWKY at the end. And then let's just turn that over so you've got the full strap. And that does slot nicely into that sort of groove there with the two bits of padding. Then you've got the logo there. Let's just have a look at the knuckle. So here we've got the knuckle. And that is the Flux Four Layers of Foam Technology. And that is a good punch surface. It's, it's quite soft actually. It's not, it's not hard. It's a, it's a soft knuckle area they've got flux on the thumb but the flux is related to the knuckle okay that's what they're calling it the flux four layers of foam technology let's have a look at the thumb okay you've got the flux there flux tm you've got the thumb i found them comfortable thumbs but of course there you have got that thumb attachment that is too far back in my opinion should be there to stop thumbing i will cover that later in the video when it comes to the comfort on there you have got three air holes um, but you've got too much movement in my opinion with that thumb face of the glove 
you can open your hand but you do have finger slippage okay so the fair holes you've got your your grip bar there and I do like that big 16 ounce so the trainers can see when they're sparring exactly how big the glove is that the boxer is using let's have a look at the lining the lining is soft that is it's a nice enough lining I do think that it's a little baggy at the finger ends and you have got that where you move your fingers and it allows you to slip the fingers uh, again I'll talk about that when it goes on to the comfort later on stitching wise I think these are very neat stitch gloves especially for the price 71 UK pounds and then just at the bottom there you know you've got a little bit of sort of a thread there again it's not coming undone let's just bring that round and show you the that area there so you can see the stitching there and let's show you the other glove as well other glove again as I say on the whole very neat stitching So these gloves come in 8 ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce, 14 ounce and 16 ounce. These are 16 ounce as you can see on the front of that glove there. Let's the left glove first to the scales. We have got 15.4. That is light for a 16 ounce on the label given that that is a Velcro. I would expect that to be closer to 16 and a half. And then this one, the right glove up to the scales. 15.3 that's a tad uh, lower in weight than the left one so both of these gloves are light for 16 ounce gloves with a velcro okay let's have a look at the comfort put them on and like so okay so knuckle area good knuckle padding when it comes to the comfort there's no pain or anything at the rear of the front knuckle. The finger pad is pretty decent, okay? So it's not uncomfortable. The thumb is comfortable and comfortable there. Let's have a look onto the other glove. Same story. So they both sort of match on both gloves. There's no, no problem at the rear of the fingernails or the rear first front knuckle. The, the front finger pad is, as I say, it's, it's not uncomfortable. Um, you can open the hands and I'll come on to that in a second again the thumb my thumb is comfortable in there and you know it's not really tight at the front okay let's come on to that problem so these gloves are based on the rival uh, RS1 2.0 okay that's really important I've, I've covered this before the rival RS1 was a fantastic glove that one used to have uh, almost like this glove uh, used to have as its thumb attachment it would have a bat wing that was the RS1 original so they bought out the RS1 2.0 and what they did is they got rid of the bat wing and they had a um, thumb attachment like these and the only problem is the thumb attachment on those gloves in my opinion does not prevent thumbing so what you've got since then is you've got other gloves that are also made in China that are looking at the RS1 2.0 and they are copying that so with this glove here from uh, Phantom again they did exactly the same see how the thumb attachment is too far back so it doesn't prevent thumbing so on this one let's show you okay so you have got a thumb attachment that is not doing its job you have got a thumb attachment that is copying from the rival RS1 2.0 but the original the rival glove is wrong so what you're having is you've got all of these gloves that are copying a fault okay which is not great let's have a look at a winning glove so you can see where the the placement is of the thumb attachment right at the end and you cannot move your thumb in there so there you go that prevents that prevents thumbing in the eye let's have a look at an adidas adi speed same again let's have a look 
where the thumb attachment is in the correct place at the end of the thumb. A thumb attachment is to stop you bringing your thumb out and thumbing someone in the eye on purpose. You know, there's people, in, uh, people out there that would do such a thing, but that was the whole point in why the thumb attachments were bought out in the first place. Again, look, that's a tight thumb that keeps it in. You cannot thumb in the eye with a thumb attachment in the correct place. Now, this one, okay, let's just go um, there like so. So if you've got it in a fist, yet it tucks in, but you can bring it out. So you could catch somebody in the eye, then there's a potential you could give them a detached retina. Um, you could also bang your own thumb and damage your own thumb. So that is a flaw. Now, in my opinion, a glove like this would not be able to be used for sparring. So I don't think the rival RS1 2.0 is suitable for sparring, even though it's a sparring glove. These weren't suitable for sparring, and now these are not suitable for sparring. Also on that fact, when I open the the hand again, my fingertips are up here. So again, the same fault that I got on these, and I've been having on a few gloves now, whereby the fingertip should be there to retain that. As I'm catching catching shots, you need to have total control of the finger end. So in that position, my fingers are open, so I'm like that, but they're up here. I have lost control of the finger end. Let's show you on an Addy Speed glove. Okay, so Addy Speed glove, I've got to total control of the end of the glove. Okay, you can see that. I'm doing the same with this one, but this one is all over the place. My fingers are moving like that, inside the glove. No finger control. So we have, when it comes to sparring, we've got a glove with a uh, thumb attachment that doesn't prevent thumbing, and when you open your hands, you've loss of the end of the glove. So for me, I am going to score these as a bag glove, not as a training glove that you can use for bags and sparring. I think they're dangerous to sparring. And so, you know, for those brands that are watching the channel now, I would say to you, don't, don't send me a glove that has got a thumb attachment that doesn't do what it should do. A thumb attachment is there for a reason. If your thumb attachment is not stopping the thumb moving, why are you putting it on? To me, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It's like having a bike and putting the brakes on the back of the saddle. You might as well not put them on. Okay? If you're going to do it, do it right. Move it down to there. Perfect. Okay, let's have a look at the fit to box ratings card. So we have got, um, for the bag division, we're going style 93, comfort 92, durability 93, that micro hawk power leather, the synthetic leather, you know, I do think it will last. Sparring, non-applicable for reasons that I've already mentioned. Bag, tried it on the bags and I did like it. it. It was protective on the hands. So bag, 93. Value for money, 92 at 71 English pounds or 96 US dollars. So 92.6, that is a good glove. Uh, it's a good bag glove. Okay, so uh, no stars for this glove. Uh, it's a nice style, I have to say. I like that they've tried to do something different with that there. It's a durable synthetic leather. It's definitely more of a bag glove than a sparring glove because of that thumb attachment. For me, that rules out sparring. Again, let's just show you what the other one's like. Okay, so I'll put that on there. And again, see, I have to say, this is not as bad as that one. That one was really movable. This one is less movable, but I still think that is still too much when it comes to, as you can see, I'm actually hitting myself in the eyeball. You're not allowed to do that. And uh, I wouldn't want somebody to spar me with those on. Yeah, I've got a head guard on, but ultimately, when you're doing some sparring, you haven't got a head guard on. To me, that's not acceptable. Okay, so I would say to Hawkeye, Hawkeye Fightwear, I would say, fix the thumb. Fix it so that when you move the end of the glove to catch shots, you're in full control of the glove, like I was with the Addy Speed. Addy Speed glove, okay, top rated fit to box glove. These gloves, good, no stars, okay, they could be lifted up a few levels by sorting out those problems. Um, Style-wise, I do like what, what they've done, but functionality, 
let down a little bit. Okay, so 92.6, good fit-to-box gloves. These will go into the fit-to-box bag division, which is on my website, fit-to-boxchannel.com. Check out where they come. And uh, as I say, this Hawkeye Fightwear, if you like the look of them and you fancy having a decent bag glove, this might be a good choice for you. I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.